What's up everybody in Arash here welcoming you back into another video and in today's video we're going to talk about OBD readers search it on Amazon or eBay you're going to find not only hundreds thousands of them cheap ones now my personal experience with the cheap ones is that they can connect to your vehicle but can they clear the fault can they diagnose it correctly not really they don't work like that so you have to find a product which is very competitive price and get updates as well so technically it's a future proof too so in today's video we're going to talk about only the product which i have used myself and i can guarantee you from my side as well that it works as well now this generic obd scan tool which we're going to talk about in this video is by think car and it's called think obd 100 To start with first we're going to see what is included within the package what cables and stuff like that following with the demonstration and by the end of the video you will have an idea that is that product for you or not and if you would like to know more about the product link is also available in the video description or if you would like to purchase it too now without wasting too much of time let me show you what we have in the package following with the features list well first let's take a look what we have inside the packaging package includes one multi language supporting quick startup guide explaining each and everything about this diagnostic tool one 1 meter long mini usb cable for upgrading this think obd 100 tool and now in last but not least think obd 100 scanning tool which come with the 1 meter long flexible cable along with the obd 2 connector which will be connected with your car and on the scanning tool you have 1.77 inch lcd display showing each and everything about your car in here along with some navigational key buttons okay and return button as well now under the scanning tool you have a mini usb port for upgrading the firmware of your obd think 100 in terms of design of obd tool is industrial design very grippy comfortable to use support multiple languages starting with the english french spanish german russian italian and portuguese and compatible to work with so many models and makes of car check the video description for more detail but on top of my head any car which is built after 1996 it is compatible to use now the features which are offered by this think obd 100 are reading and clearing your codes freezing the frames and also do some tests like o2 sensor test on board monitoring evap system test and much more you can just simply plug it with your car and it will be powered by using your car straight away and that's what we're going to do now let's straight away locate the obd port on your car now in my car obd tool exists right down in here let me plug this thing in okay now when you have your think obd 100 connected to your car it automatically powers up and going to show you the menu which you can see right on the screen where the display would be only for the diagnostic look up setup and the help now first to start with let's have a look into the setup which is a very important one because here is going to show you the option for the language where you can select the language you would like to go for english french spanish dutch and so many more are available and then is the units the units which you can understand the thing either metric or imperial if you want to now let's have a look into the help category in here you're going to see the option for this obd how you're going to use it how is the data stream how is imnm and all about the unit itself let's suppose what software version is it using when you upgrade it it will change automatically as well after that the option which you need to go into is for the lookup that is a very helpful section which i would like to show you about when you put the tough fault code in it will show you that what type of fault it is now for the purpose of making sure that this lookup works let me type in a code Now by using the navigational keys you need to type in the code. Now if you'd like to change the P you can just simply scroll down. Once you decided what you want like to do with it, press up button here. Now first code you need to write I'm going to do the 0. The second one would be the 4. Okay, now next again 0 and then again 1. Okay, press okay. There you go. It's going to show you what this fault is about. is about the exhaust gas recirculation so technically with the help of this lookup table you do not need to search over internet if you do not have 
at that moment of when you have a fault you can easily get the information now it's time for looking into the diagnostic tab which is a very important one but for that you need to make sure that the power on your vehicle is turned on actually at the moment you can see that if everything is off i'm going to turn it on all right now when vehicle is powered up click on to the diagnostics it's going to process and search for the codes and straight away show you everything about your vehicle starting with the dtc ecu codes reading okay or anything like that all useful information would be available on your little screen now by using the scrolling keys you can just go in there and it will straight away show you that what would you like to do actually would you like to read any fault code now if you have any engine fault code available on your dashboard by going into read code is going to scan it and show you the fault code now then by using the lookup table you can easily get to know that what does it mean actually and if you'd like to clear it by using this clear erase code you can do that now after erase code we got option for imm you can go into that is going to show you since dtc cleared or this cycle actually here you can actually see that if there is any fault next option is the data stream which is a pretty decent option actually where is going to load up all the information about your vehicle you're going to see all the data starting with the load ptc etc mapping or all, all to do with the your lumbar sensor mf sensors every sensor specifications are available in here now if you start your engine let me start that and you're going to see the live data too there you go engine is started you can see that if there is a fault in your egr wall any error and stuff like that very nicely structured all information you wanted to know available right on this data stream is all together about 16 pages of data so any sensor which is not working on your vehicle you can see it right in there next option you have is a freeze frame if your car supports that option then o2 sensor test and the onboard monitoring and evop system test next option is a vehicle information with the help of this tab you are going to get the information about when cid or cvn of your vehicle well so far so good everything is, seems to be working for me using this think obd 100 i will be keeping this in my car if there's any problem i will face within future and I'll be keep updating you if, if I think it, that is not working for me at all. The best option which I have seen is the lookup. Because without using any internet or anything, I can straight away get the real generic information about the fault code. The build quality is fantastic. Flexible cable. What else you want? That would be all from my side guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you are interested in purchasing this, link is also available within the video description. And if you like my video, why not hit the like button and subscribe for more too. On that note guys, thank you again for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye for now.